What is up guys, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'm going to give you guys a quick look into the last item DLC for the game Frostpunk. Now for those who are unfamiliar with Frostpunk, it is basically a management sim game set in a post-apocalyptic future where everything's cold and it's really hard to survive. It's kind of like the movie Snowpiercer if you've seen it. But anyways, let's get into it. So there it is. The new scenario and uh, opening sequence. So let's get right into that. Personal journal of Euphemia McLaughlin, assistant engineer at Imperial Exploration Company. It's been five weeks since we have left the familiar walls of Birmingham behind. Weeks of uncertainty, of struggle, of hope. And finally, we have reached the shores. We had three deaths so far. Or, small price for progress, as I.E. Seed called it. I can only hope I am going to avoid their fate. They've claimed there was nothing to fear. That this whole journey of ours was just a precaution. But now, it feels like the weather is changing. And the winter, the winter, winter is coming, seems inevitable. Fantastic. I accidentally hit my mic there, but you can see it's lovely. There's green, there's trees. It's not cold and miserable all the time. There's different dangers, but I'm gonna get into that. So here you start to build docks, you gather resources piled on the docks, and then you wanna get a fishing harbor or set up a forager's camp. It's up to you. Fishing Harbor is pretty sweet, but it does reduce one of the spots that you can build a dock in. So it's basically a trade-off. Do you want to get food or do you want to get resources? Let's load up a save file that I had. I've been playing for about an hour. Again, I'm not really good at the game. I just started playing it recently. I like it quite a bit. So I'm going to go over some of the things different. Um, as you can see, there's docks here. There are only a limited number of spots, about four. And I have two two doing steel, one doing trees, and one doing food. And one neat thing is you can build these things called reloading stations right on top of the docks, the resource piles, and assign people to work there and it'll collect them quite efficiently. So that's a nice touch there. You gotta research all of that. Another thing is, you can have a morgue to send dead bodies and it'll raise motivation instead of dropping him. You can raise it even more if you use steel instead of wood, so there's a cost there. Another thing is, as you can see, the generator is not built, so the whole purpose of this campaign is to finish building the generator. And you do that by using something called profiles, structural profiles, and you generate that in the profiles manufacturer building it costs wood to build each profile about 25 and then once you reach 8 you can start building the shaft and as you can see you can send a lot of people to it so you're wondering how do you get people well glad you asked <laughs> you have something called a telegraph station basically what happens is you can basically ask for resources whatever it is that you want so you can get steam cores you can get prosthetics, you can get engineers, you can get uh, regular workers. So uh, steam cores take up a lot of space, as you can see here. Uh, the longer the time goes, the higher the limit goes, and you can order more things. It takes a longer time to get there. So it's basically a trade-off of what you want to get. And I think this is quite a nice touch. It streamlines the game quite a bit. 
Uh, don't worry if you think this makes the game easier, it does not. So here's how it gets a little bit harder. As you're working on the generator, work safety decreases and you can increase safety by decreasing efficiency or just keep the same efficiency but have people get sick or die. So that's where the the conundrums <laughs> the conundrum comes in. Do you want to finish this quickly or do you want to finish it safely? And it takes longer. Um, I'm not too far into the scenario, so there's probably going to be a lot of new things happening. There's another thing new. When you build a forager hut, this is kind of like the explorers. You send out a team into the surrounding area and you have to look for food. Once you find a place suitable to set up a camp, the camp only lasts like a couple of days. This one lasted 8 days. It's close to being done. It'll send in 80 raw food every day until it's depleted. Then you have to go find a new one. So the food mechanic is a little bit different. Let's go look into the new tech. So it looks a little more streamlined and simpler. As you can see here, this is everything to do with the generator construction. You can do protective structures, machine shop, uh, which will produce more things, and ventilation plant. There's this whole idea of safety where you're increasing the safety of working on the generator because a lot of people are going to get injured or die. Food and health, pretty much it's revolving around the foragers to make them faster or you can have more. And then the fishing harbors. And then you got a little bit of your medicinal upgrades here. And then for resources, it's pretty much based around the reloading stations and the docks. You got the depots as usual and the sawmill as usual as well. It's a little bit more streamlined, but the gameplay focus is quite different. And that's pretty much it. There's a there's a lot that I'm just leaving out, but I'm tr trying to give you guys a brief glimpse into the game. I'm having a lot of fun so far. Um, so here's kind of the new Book of Laws things you can do here repatriation of bodies you can send the bodies back to english soil you can bury them in a cemetery as usual it's the cheapest method but doing this costs wood but you can also do company funerals which will increase motivation when people die but it costs steel all right so <laughs> these are just similar things sustain life uh bad houses are a little bit new you can build them near housing and people are less likely to fall ill because they're taking showers. You can make comfortable quarters, meaning each house holds 8 people instead of 10. That sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, crowded quarters. You know, you can stuff more people in. It's the same type of, you know, you, you don't have enough resources. Do you force people to go through it the hard way or do you make life easier and then have to make that up somehow um, it's a little bit more nicer in that you know you can have bare knuckle bounce and instead of people dying you can have duels they just get hurt so it seems to be a lot more kinder <laughs> so here's the labor part this is used to be the faith slash police a book of laws instead it's all related to safety so here is what you can expect so as you work on the shaft the generator things are going to get more and more unsafe so you have to increase safety otherwise people are going to start dying left and right so you can increase safety but at the cost of efficiency you know increase workplace safety by one events will happen such as oh toxic gas is leaking out of the shaft what are you going to do you can do things like after hours equipment maintenance where you can reduce accidents but discontent will rise permanently you can have the same thing here extend the shift double shift um, that's pretty much similar you can have a dispensary is new as well you can cure gravely ill to ill but there can be side effects or you can do a short shift which reduces the work hours to eight but it increases safety so again, it's like this trade-off of do you want to have 
your workers safe but less efficient or just go full steam ahead because thanks to this telegraph station you can just replace your workers uh, on a daily basis now <laughs> That means you're going to miss out on engineers or getting steam cores or prosthetics. So there's always a fine balance to this game. And uh, so far I'm quite liking it. Let's, you know, let's give it a run for a couple seconds. Book of Laos. What shall we do? Eh, we'll just leave it for now. But yeah, I I am digging this game. These ships come in. The gameplay mechanics kind of toy around with the fact that you know you're still getting shipments from England, so it's not as hard to get certain resources. It's more about managing them in the right way and making sure that your workers are safe so that you can finish building the generator in time. Take a look at this. Yeah, if you wait longer, you can fit more people. And the ship will come bringing my workers, engineers, and steam cores. Oh yes, it's a lot harder on the motivation and discontent meters. I personally feel like it's hard to keep these up. Because people are so picky. <laughs> but yeah, there you have it folks. I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick look. If you would like to see more, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing this game more and I'll be releasing videos, uh, achievement guides and whatnot as I get a hang of this game. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for dropping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you would like to see anything at all, please feel free to let me know. And as always, catch you guys next time.